We had a late start of the day and first went to Circus, one of the best places for brunch in the city. We had eggs benedict and uh, a variety of eggs benedict and pulled pork. I think that was our favorite with hash browns. And then we walked around in the city, took the drone for a spin. We are in Hayosh Utsa where I used to live. So when I moved here in 2016, I was living in the apartment on the second floor there. And it has a very nice view on the St. Stephen's Basilica. And it's right on the corner of the Oprah building. And I used to just like, enjoy, well, enjoy looking outside, uh, seeing the people, because it had a bit of a small town feel uh, right in the center of the city. And a lot of things have changed in the meantime. There used to be a small shop by a Croatian owner and where I used to go get coffee and especially this place used to be called Bistro Soupé. Now it's a French tacos place. Um, but in Bistro Soupé I got to know the local cuisine. They had a, always a very nice daily menu, especially with the everyday Hungarian dishes and especially the soups were my favorites. And this is where I developed my love for uh, Rakov Kunti. We are at Madal, one of the Madal coffee shops in Budapest. We just did some work, had tea, and uh, brought up memories of uh, Adam, who was our first native English editor at Clovio. It was at this table that we first met and signed contracts, and um, he was quite new to the city still, and we arranged his paperwork. And now he's well established here in, in Budapest. Yeah, so this is from the Old League. So that's a Swedish uh, company yep. that's making oat milk. Uh, that's from the Sukafina, that's a green coffee producer. That's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and this is the, the Lamar Sokologo, that's the coffee machine. You must be the senior barista here. Uh, kind of. Bring a visit to Victor, but unfortunately he wasn't at home. Oh, okay. uh, although we believe that he was sunbathing somewhere around the Parliament building, even though there isn't any sun. We are at McDonald's near Newgate train station and this is the prettiest McDonald's in the world. You could say that the one in Porto is really nice as well, but this for sure is our favorite. What's the plan? The plan was brunch and now the plan is spinach gnocchi with a lemonade. Because we had a late start of the day after a long end of the day yesterday. Breakfast time. Healthy breakfast. Happy Mother's Day. Rainy day. A rainy day. We like our drink shorts and our days long here in Budapest. Yes. but we're actually too late for brunch so we went with lunch instead then we went on to explore Fisherman's Bastion and got drenched by the time we already reached there we did get some very nice views hot chocolates, espresso and then we went to meet uh, my Hungarian friend Edith and for palacinta, pancakes 
and then we made our way to Simpla and now we simply walked our way into Simpla when we were here on Friday there was a one hour line and now this is a, almost like a one hour monologue so I'll cut it short What's the plan? The plan is a small team event, a team gathering with the Hungarian team we're going for lunch and then we'll try to escape from an escape room escape zone Okay yeah, but I have a rule that I don't drink after 3 p.m. Yes, yes, that's one of the most important things, I think. Like in Portugal, a lot of people still drink a coffee after dinner as well. And of course, I got my coffee, which I already drank, but anyway. So it's uh, a bit cold. Catfish. This is stuffed paprika. Transylvanian style, because it's not the Hungarian TV paprika. A félelem labirint tusha. Yeah, that's... Or a theme, I guess. Any progress? No. No progress? No, it's pretty dark in there. We got out? Yes, of course. In 10 minutes. It was very nice. Yes, we had fun. Yep. We had fun. At some point, we really got into it. The first mm -hmm. part was difficult. But then we got pretty dark out. too. Pretty dark. I mean, lemonade. That's the debriefing. Yes. We deserved it. Yep. We got out in five minutes. I'm packing my black. <laughs> Belga Golfi. <laughs> so where are you? What is this? Well, we are in uh, October right now, in the uh, middle of the Budapest, and it's uh, Lucky's Belgium Fries. We are serving the Belgian food and beers here, and we are just bringing the experience from Belgium to here. And if you eat uh, before any friteri in the Belgium, you are going to feel the same here. Okay. Bye bye. Home safely. See ya. <laughs> Last night, in last Budapest. night in the Budapest Eye, enjoying the view, saying goodbye, very pretty. How was Budapest? Budapest was as pretty as ever, it gets prettier and prettier. Yes. And the Budapest Eye is as fast as this trip was, unfortunately it was way too fast. True. But it was a very productive, fun time, and we'll miss it. For sure.